Hey guys, Tactical and Johnny, of course. He's been busy chasing bad birds, but anyway, um, wanted to do a review of my Boggs Classic Ultra Mediums. This is probably the favorite pair of boots that I've ever owned. They've been very durable. They're still waterproof. They're very warm. I kind of wish I had gotten the highs. These are 10 inches. The highs are 13. But you do lose a little bit with the handles. I like having the handles, but you lose a little bit of the height there. But other than that, really the only wear that I've seen with these is obviously on the sole area here. You can see on most of these it says bogs. That one you can still kind of make out the lettering. This one not so much. It's a little more worn. But then on the inside right here where my Achilles tendon goes, it's worn through the inner fabric, which isn't really a big deal for me. Um, the only other thing is right here where the boot creases, it's kind of halfway, I don't know, it almost, I wouldn't even call it cracking. It looks more like a little bit of like dry rot. But I probably wore these for two winters and then put them in storage for three years. God knows what kind of condition, you know, they were stored in. So these boots are like five years old. I just broke them out the other day because the weather turned cold. And so they, to me, they've held up beautifully. They're still completely waterproof. One of the only downsides to them is because they are neoprene. I think Bog says that they're rated down to like negative 40 degrees or something ridiculous like that. But if you put them on in the morning when it's cold outside and then it starts to warm up, your feet are gonna start to sweat. That's been the biggest problem that I've had with them. But another one of my favorite features about this boot is the actual, the soles. It's pretty much a flat sole. There's a little bit of an, little bit of an arch right here, but not much. These things are amazing for non-slip. The only time I really have issues with these boots slipping is if you, you're on straight up ice and it's wet. Like, I've hit, there's a bridge that we have over here that had a little bit of ice on it, and my buddy completely ate it on there the other day. And I got on it with these about the same time just to see what would happen, and nothing. I could walk across that bridge perfectly fine. So that's probably one of my favorite features about this, this boot, aside from, you know, they are still waterproof, and they're very warm. I'm extra tall, ultra skinny, so trying to keep my feet and my hands warm is kind of a big deal for me. So I'm going to be checking out their hiking boots for when I hit the Appalachian Trail next year. So we'll see what comes of that. But anyway, I highly, highly, highly recommend these boots. They have been absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, until next time, guys.